Well, Jack Valero is a commentator on the Catholic Church and co-founder of the Communications Project, Catholic Vo Voices. He joins us uh, from London. Thank you very much for being on Al Jazeera. Uh, first of all, the, the Pope began by saying the church needs to be uh, repaired to make it a place that welcomes everyone. I mean, how progressive is that statement? Well, yes, I mean, the church is there for everyone. This, this has been the case from the beginning. Maybe uh, sometimes we have not, not taken that into account enough, but clearly the church is for everyone. And this listening exercise is to know how the church can help everybody in their own lives, you know, because um, the church uh, is a field hospital. Uh, this is what Pope Francis has called it. And it's also a mother who loves her children and uh, wants the best for them. So this exercise is to try to find out how its doctrines, its teachings can help people in their daily lives find God and find happiness that way. Mm. Can you just give us a little bit of context here and explain the importance of the meeting? Well, the, the Synod is a meeting normally of bishops uh, which take place every few years. This one is different because, first of all, it's going to take not place not just once, but twice this year and next year. And also, the almost 400 participants is not just bishops, as it has been up to now for decades, but it's going to be bishops, priests and lay people, men and women, mm. uh, all discussing the different things. So uh, there's a, a much more outward-looking way of looking at things and uh, more participation to know what's going on on the ground. Yeah. So it's not just a, it's not really a matter of changing doctrines because, for example, um, two days ago the Pope uh, a letter was 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 released by the Vatican saying, "Well, we're not going to consider ordaining women to the priesthood because that's not on the agenda. This is not the kind of thing we're going to talk about. But we are going to talk about how to involve women more, how to ensure that they have the right amount of power and and uh, and participation in church structures and everything." So. It's really how to apply what the church believes and what it is to the needs of today. Mm. Well, how will women have a more active and prominent role in the church? Well, there's also already women running departments in the Vatican, and uh, there's been very big progress in the last two decades uh, of women coming, especially in the last 10 years with Pope Francis, of coming in and... and uh, having important jobs in the Vatican. But also, um, there's another aspect, and that is that the church is not really the, just the Vatican. It, it, it's the church everywhere. And when you look at the church spread throughout the world, women have always have had for a long time a very important role in what the church does. And this will continue and even improve, you know, it, it, it increase. Mm. So that now that we, you know, in the rest of the world, women are, are, are doing the same jobs as men. Well, this will also increase in the church, and this will be good because we need both men okay. and women. I mean, what's the response been to this, though? Because conservatives are saying that this could actually split the church. Yes, I think that some people are afraid because maybe they have the idea that the church's role is to teach the truth, which is one of its roles, of course. And they, they feel that perhaps if you start discussing things, you may move away from that. And um, and yet uh, the church has always had this uh, way of discussing things. You know, the, the, the councils like the Vatican Council in the 60s, which was such an important event and synods from the beginning, from the beginning of its history, where people discuss things and 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 see how to move forward. I think there is a fear by some people that this could change the core teachings Whereas the Pope has said, no, don't, don't be afraid. None of the core teachings are going to change. What we're going to do is to find out how they can be of more help to people in the real challenges that are new in the 21st century for mm. people, where they are hurting, where they are, uh, you know, maybe they, they, they're not, they're not uh, living in the way that, uh, in a perfect way, and so they need to find God in their imperfect lives too. And the church can help them with that. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, we really do appreciate that. That is Jack Valero, uh, co-founder of Catholic Voices. Thank you. Thank you.